Hello Steelers and welcome to this part two of the work in progress on the new war room in the new house of course. Uh, I don't know if you saw part one but go back and check that out that was like really early on as I was just setting things up and this is basically the reason I'm doing this video is, is kind of show you my how I'm, I'm progressing with with putting this room together because there's quite a lot of work to do in it and I know it's not going to get finished anytime soon but I at least want it into a position where I can uh, play some games up here do some filming that kind of thing i mean i've been able to do some filming already uh just a couple of like bench reports and and box openings and things like that but i want to obviously be able to expand you know and go back to actual proper filming so filming games and things like that but i think that's going to be quite a little while off at the moment so that's just a bit of a heads up for you there but as you can see behind me i've actually got my painting table set up and uh ready to go and actually being used at the moment as well as you can see so i've got you know something set out here that I've been painting uh, over the last week or so as I've been pointing this out and really I kind of want to make this video just to show you what point we're at at the moment because I had some plans in the last one uh, I almost went to bits at one point because I just I, I realized I've got so much stuff that I I had to get rid of a lot of it uh, I was very brutal with basically going through some of the boxes and things we've brought over here and just either throwing things out or sticking stuff on eBay or just pairing stuff out completely really because there was a lot of things in those boxes that I thought I was going to use at some point it was like you know you bought a, a project to do so it's kind of like a case of right I want to you know I'm going to do something with this and it's just never happened so I figured what's the point in having them anymore so I've kind of done a lot of that I've still got a little bit left to do I've got a couple of boxes still left to open I'm still trying to work out where my figures are going to go I've still you can see behind me the pile of uh, terrain has kind of moved I'm going to show you this properly in a bit uh, and also give you an idea as well just to you know what I want to do in future from where I am at the moment but at the moment it is a bit of a workable space right behind me it's a bit chaotic it's where the, uh, the, 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 the bookshelves and the, the game shelves and things are. But what I'll do is I'll show you that. I'll uh, get the camera and I'll turn it around and I'll, I'll show you around the table and uh, around the room, sorry, and I'll, and I'll kind of give you an idea of basically where I want to get to. Yeah. And what I did say is that I want to, you know, I want a gaming table up here. I've got an idea of what gaming, what table I'm going to use. I'm carrying keeping with my uh, gaming boards they're just by the side of me here at the moment I'm going to keep with those uh, they're three by fours I can put those together but I want to get there's an Ikea table that I want to get which has got a folding drop leaf basically uh, I've just been looking for one second hand it's nothing desperate at the moment but it folds up quite nicely so I can use it for board games or I can make it much bigger for bigger board games or you can fold it right down and then it'll just sit against a wall and it also has some drawers in it as well uh, Norden I think they call it so that's something to look out for uh, in future and that's going to be nice a nice space saving um, table for future so what I'll do now is I'll uh, get the camera uh, I'll have a quick look around the room as we are so you can see what it looks like uh, you can see where I'm at and uh, I'll just talk about what I want to do in future and how I uh, you know what my plans are and things uh, way 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 down the the line as well just as, as things are looking a little bit better than they were last time okay so as you can possibly remember from the previous video if you've seen it that there is a bookcase there's one of them there's the display case for my models and what have you and there's also another bookcase or a uh, an ikea case full of board games and then the third one over there again a load of books in it but as you can see now what's happened is i've actually moved everything from one side of the room to the other side of the room so everything here is currently just packed up because obviously still doing diy and bits and pieces here and there uh, in the house so i've got my tools and things up here as well you can see workbenches and all kinds of stuff still got a couple of boxes at the back there i've got a couple of things here in front uh, which i'm about to shift these are currently as i speak for sale on ebay i think they they've been bid on so uh, by the time you're watching this these will have been shipped off to their new owners i would have thought because uh, that will have happened a few weeks ago while the time you're watching this what we've got here is 
<laughs> my, Ger my German helmets and Russian helmets, uh, but I've also got uh, a couple of boxes left over as well from the move. So the top one there is just, that is just uh, pictures, uh, paintings and things that we've got around the house. So they're kind of shared. So I'm just keeping them in here for now, just because we don't have any space to put them up on the walls just yet. Then underneath that are some more specific pictures to the war room. So that's like uh, band posters and what else have I got in there? Some other bits and pieces, First World War propaganda posters, things like that. Uh, and again, I just, because the walls, as you can see, are yet to be plastered or painted, there's not much point putting them up. I might do at some point just to make things a little bit more decorative. But um, right now, I think it's a case of just hanging onto them uh, in the box and just seeing what happens uh, in future. I've got also, uh, there's some bits and pieces of furniture. There's an old table there, which is uh, about to go to a charity shop. Uh, we've got another white table down there, which I might just break out and use for doing some small games and videos and things like that on at some point, but it may be a little bit too small. That's just behind those chairs. You can see here as well, I've got the really useful boxes of my figures. This is actually my figure collection. This is the entire figure collection, as you can see here. So uh, that's quite a lot of really useful boxes. I was thinking about possibly going through this and just trying maybe thin it out a little bit because there's a lot of stuff in there that I probably uh, don't use, never will use, don't will not return to, uh, is, is relatively useless for things. It's like, you know, individual figures that I've painted that I have no use for, like, uh, you know, German engineers dragging ammunition around. How many of those do you need? You know, I've probably got loads of them because I just painted them in a box. Next to those, well, that's something for the future. Next to those, there I've got uh, my gaming mats and just other bits and pieces in that box. And then below that is the gaming rules. So I think these are these are the last three boxes there's four in total but three of those are my personal things the other one is is the shared stuff between me and my wife so they're the last things to be cleared out i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to do with the really useful boxes for the figures just yet they may live underneath the the, uh, the window for now uh, or just where they are for now just in front of the boiler room because we don't really need to get into the, into the boiler compartment i don't really need to get into there too often hopefully not anyway if the boiler uh, doesn't pack up and then, of course, down there you can see I've got my uh, my my uh, collection of Warlord stuff. That is the uh, the two box sets that they sent through, and uh, the bolt action box set. They're just sitting there for want of somewhere else. Then next to that is just a pile of my personal stuff. Some you know my tax return stuff, car stuff, uh, also game sheets as well in some of those boxes. There's a pile of magazines in there, other bits and pieces as well. Just stuff I haven't yet found a a, a room for. However, the big change from last time is over here, and this is now where my new desk setup is. So you can see we've got, this is my computer. It's also when I'm working from home, this is where I'll be working from as well, uh, the desk. And then next to that, I have my painting desk as well, which you can see, which is currently under being used to paint lots of British 15 mil uh, Napoleonic uh, figures at the moment. That's the uh, that's what I'm working on at the moment. So I've got some French as well, which I've undercoated over there, which I'm just waiting to start on. So that's basically the setup. What this is, let me just tell you quickly, these uh, desktops, these are Ikea desktops. Uh, these are, I can't remember the name of them. Uh, it's escaped me. It's something really weird, like Langun's done or something. Uh, but there's two of them. This is my old painting desk, and this is one of them. It's a brown coloured one. And then I went to Ikea and I bought one of these white ones. What I may do at some point in the future is get another white one, uh, just so they match up. But right now, because I make a mess with the painting, I think I might not do and just keep my old desk. There's not much point repaint for it. That's something in the future. But you can see there's a bit of space underneath there, so just pull that out there. You can see that I have got uh, a few box models and things underneath there. That's stuff that I brought from the house that I want to uh, paint at some point in the future, just as uh, little palette cleansers. And then right next to it is this. This is the thing I, I mentioned before. This is the, uh, the, the, the under desk uh, unit. This is from Ikea. This is called an Alex, so it fits perfectly with uh, with my room and let's just have a look you've got one two three four five de uh, drawers in it different sizes the top ones are quite small and they go by to there so just quickly show you his batteries and stuff these are absolutely rammed full of stuff so there's uh things i've just kind of put stuff in here at the moment uh, some more figures in there that are going to be painted at some point in the future 
Then underneath that, we've got some, if it'll actually open, uh, I've got some, I, I do, it will open, I promise you. Uh, we'll come back to that. <laughs> uh, I've got uh, a lot of scenery stuff and, and uh, bits and pieces that I can uh, I can just dip into and they're, they're there, other side of things. And then at the bottom, I've got a load of electronics as well. So I'll just show you there, uh, just for various bits. I'm thinking I might actually get another second one of these because they are really good and they hold a hell of a lot of stuff. And if I do, I'll put it over here, uh, either at the side of the desk or underneath the desk as well to help hold it up. I'm not entirely sure yet, but they, that again is something for future. I just think it's a really, uh, it's about 70 pounds, I think, in Ikea. Uh, and I would say they're definitely well worth getting. You could probably get two and put them on either side of a desk because I've got that corner bit. I'm not doing that. And then really <clears throat> over here, the last little bit is the scenery pile. So this is my really useful boxes of scenery. This would have been a great place to put the figures, but scenery is bigger. The boxes are bigger. So they've taken precedence over here. So you can see they're all kind of piled up. There's probably some of this stuff I could probably once again thin out. I could probably empty at least two of these boxes, I think, of stuff. So it's older stuff that I don't use anymore. Uh, I, might, I might sell it on eBay. I've got loads and loads of trees that now I've got other trees uh, from Joe Bilton. There's not much point in me having these ones, but I kind of, I don't want to give up on them because, you know, it's hard enough to just get rid of these things. As I say, there's the, the trees up there from Joe Bilton, but what I might do is empty those boxes, put the other trees from those boxes into these boxes, and then just go from there. I've got a couple of other bits and pieces up there. So there are the early war miniatures uh, trench systems in here and some uh, hedges from Fat Frank and things and some lichen and stuff like that. A lot of that could be reduced down into one box really. So that, that's something I might do in the future. The problem with the early war trench systems is they are brilliant, but they are just too big for a, uh, a really useful box. They're just slightly too big. So uh, Paul, if you are watching, uh, if you do re-release them, uh, maybe think about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then of course door is still off I haven't planned it yet at this point but that will happen and then I've also got you can see here uh, boxes that I've emptied that I've not got rid of yet but I've also got the uh, the gaming boards here and you know speaking of the gaming board now I've cleared a lot of this space and once some of this other stuff has gone uh, in the next probably the next few weeks I would have said uh, it, I'm going to have a, a better idea as to how much of a table I can get in here and I've, I've measured it out and there's there's definitely space for a 6x4 table in here. Uh, I'm not going to keep it up permanently but I am going to uh, get one of those drop leaf uh, IKEA um, desks or tables that uh, I, can, I can just then put to one side and that will also have a bit of storage in it. At the moment, what is a bit of an issue is that we do have the radiator is up against that wall, so it's kind of blocking storage really on this side for like a bookshelf or something. That's not to say I can't put shelves on the on the on the walls. And this is something I'm thinking of doing uh, over here once we've got stuff sorted out, once things are decorated and that you know uh, it's a long time in the future. But there's plenty of wall space storage there, so I could quite easily build some kind of contraption that goes up over the desk or even just have some shelves on the wall uh, and to put stuff on there as well. I mean, you know, relatively light stuff, I guess, like plastic figures and things like that could easily go up on there. That would be a way of doing it. Or even just rules and things like that. Another bookcase above where I'm painting. I think that's probably a thing I'm going to do because there's a lot, you can see there's a lot of space here on this, this back wall that really at the moment is just not being used for anything. All right, I'll leave it at that. That's where we're at at the moment. Uh, I'll do another update on one of these once I've got things more sorted out and I know where things are again in future uh, and it will happen. Uh, it's just right now, obviously, we still only moved in a couple of months ago. So uh, things are still a little bit up in the air. And, you know, once I've cleared some of this stuff away, uh, sold some of this stuff on, uh, things are going to be a little bit better. Anyway, all right, uh, if you enjoyed this, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of progress so far, let me know what you think of uh, what my plans are in future with this room, and uh, I'll see you in the next Storm of Steel video.